House Tyrell are Lord Paramounts of the Reach. There are a few primary reasons for their power. Number 1. Population. The Reach is the most populous kingdom in Westeros and House Tyrell reigns supreme over all Reach inhabitants. This means they collect a considerable amount of tax revenue and have access to more men-at-arms during times of war. Number 2. Economy. The Reach has fertile lands which allows them to cultivate vast amounts of crops, fruit, wine and other food, which they then sell and trade to the rest of Westeros. This bolsters the wealth of the Lords of the Reach, and in turn, House Tyrell. Old Town is also the oldest and richest city in the Seven Kingdoms, attracting tourism and trade from the rest of Westeros. Additionally, Old Town is home to the Citadel, where maesters are trained. Lords throughout the Seven Kingdoms rely on maesters and presumably pay levies to maintain the upkeep of the citadel. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Number 3, Military Power The wealth and population of the Reach provides House Tyrell with significant resources to invest in their military strength. In addition to manpower and equipment, House Redwine, Bannermen to House Tyrell, have one of the three most powerful naval fleets in Westeros, along with the Greyjoy's Iron Fleet and the Royal Fleet of King's Landing. Number 4. Strategic Alliances Following the eradication of House Gardner during Aegon's conquest, House Targaryen raised House Tyrell from stewards to Lord Paramounts of the Reach. In return, House Tyrell were staunch supporters of House Targaryen right up until their demise during Robert's Rebellion. House Tyrell benefited greatly from the protection of the crown and their dragons. After the fall of the Targaryens, Robert's hand, John Arryn, urged Robert to forgive the Tyrells for supporting King Aerys II Targaryen and keep them as rulers of the Reach. In exchange, the Tyrells loaned significant amounts of gold to the crown, further cementing their importance. Following Robert's death, Lord Mace Tyrell used his power and influence to forge new alliances, notably with Renly Baratheon, and after his death, with House Lannister and House Baratheon of King's Landing. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.